another month in the books and another month of some really cute sewing, I think. Um, one item that I sewed this month you have seen already. That's how good I've been about keeping it a secret. Sometimes I make something and I have to get it up on the channel ASAP. Um, and that was the case for, I'll show you them first, the red pants. So. These are the pants, the high-waisted pants that I um, wore with that pink sweater. Do you guys remember that video? I posted it a couple weeks ago. Um, the pattern is Simplicity 8457. It's an amazing fit pattern. So they have the different pattern pieces for the curvy, slim, and average figures. Um, and I talked about these pants a lot in that video what I thought about the fit, um, any alterations that I had to make, and changes that I would make for my next pair, which you're going to want to tune in to the plans video because I did buy fabric to make a second pair. You guys just really love them so much. I love them so much, and I really, really want to get the fit just right because if I do, then I have a go-to like wide leg trouser that I can modify a million different ways and will fit and I don't have to worry about doing any of those adjustments anymore so I am excited about that but these are them like not on my body I will have a link in the description box for where you can go watch the video and see these on me and me kind of doing my thing um so that's that I made them because I wanted to but <laughs> but I also made them as part of my holiday outfit for this year and I know it seems really weird to like already have a holiday outfit made but my holiday outfits that I sew aren't necessarily to go to an event or a party it is so that I can present a holiday look um, for you guys in a timely manner so if you wanted to sew the holiday outfit you would have time to do that it's going to be a really fun couple of months i hope you guys are excited i know it's a weird time to like feel excited about anything but hopefully this will give you something to be excited about but so the entire holiday look is actually oh, look at this it is like i am a literal gift when i wear this it looks just like that ribbony stuff that you see in bows it looks like they took a whole bunch of bows, gift wrap bows, and <laughs> made a fabric out of them. So this is the whole outfit, like this. The top is a little bit cropped um, and unhemmed because it's a little bit of a pain to work with, but you can see gold and red, super, super cute. The pictures turned out adorable, like totally adorable. Um, my friend Katie, who actually used to work in like a news station helps me with it. Um, and she, it's fun when someone helps you photograph and take video when they are really into it. Like Dan will help me, but he's like, how much longer? He's like, you've been standing, spinning around for two minutes. Like, aren't we done? And I'm like, no, I need a lot more than that. You don't understand. But Katie was like, do this, do this, get this angle. So it was, we had a really good time that day doing that. But anyways, back to the top. Okay. So this is McCall's 6992. It is generally my, not generally, genuinely my favorite raglan sweater, sweatshirt pattern ever. Of course it's out of print because nothing that's good lasts forever. But if you can find it on Etsy or Amazon or wherever, try and snatch it up. It really, really is a great pattern right out of the envelope that you will use again and again. This is probably my third or fourth version, um, but it's super, super cute. So the fabric came from, and again, you guys are gonna learn a lot more about this whenever I post like my holiday look, but the fabric came from Joanne. And then I did not want, I mean, this fabric is itchy. It is on the inside, it's pretty itchy too. And all the seam allowances, even though I serge them, they're pretty itchy. So I have to wear something underneath it, um, just a barrier between that itchiness and my skin. But I knew that I could not sew the neckband out of this same fabric. That would just be too, too much. So I got some like gold-ish, uh, I think it's like a double knit 
And you know, Joanne, they'll let you get like two inches of fabric. So I just got a little bit to make the neckband and um, the little arm bands so that I could easily, easily hem it. So that is that. She's real cute. She's real sparkly, very extra, but very holiday. It, it's a lot of fun, this little guy. And imagine if you're doing like a Zoom holiday, you will for sure stand out with a top like this. So, so yeah, stay tuned for more info on this. But speaking of McCall 6992, while I had it out, I went ahead and shopped my stash, pulled out this super cute cheetah print from Mood, I think on my very first trip there, which means it's easily seven years ago. Um, so unfortunately, probably not available, but it's, you know, nothing really, you know, it's it's not anything super super special you can find knit cheetah print lots of places now um this one isn't anything to like write home about but it is really cute um and the scale of the print is really nice and i made this in the event that i decided to do something for halloween i could just get some cat ears and be like i'm a cheetah um <laughs> but i decided not to do anything so now i just have a cheetah print top and it's really really cute again same pattern as the gold um and then i just use i have a whole bunch of this black um knit i don't even know what it is in my stash and so i just use that and this pattern comes together so so quickly this is the length of the pattern out of the envelope versus the cropped one so you guys can see the difference there. I cropped it like a good six inches for the for the holiday look because those pants are so high waisted. But yeah, I will um, film this guys, uh, film this for you guys and model it so that you guys can see it. Oh man, I know you guys like that a lot. But um, but yeah, so that makes make number four or five of McCall's six nine nine two. Love that pattern. Love it. Okay, and then finally we have my. Long Johns. So I talked about this in my plans video. Um, the pants are the Rad Patterns Long John Jammers. And that is the pattern for So My Style this month. So I was excited that I got that pattern actually sewn. I basically made the Long John Jammers right out of the, right, right off the printer. Um, I didn't make very many adjustments to it at all other than um, shortening the waistband, shortening the rise, and shortening the M seam. So I just wanted to get the proportions a little bit different. That you'll see in the pictures a lot of the um a lot of the tester makes the it's like bunching at the bottom. It's designed to be that way, but I didn't want that, so I shortened that, and then I wanted it to hit a little bit lower on my stomach, so I shortened that. You know, I just make little tweaks to the length, but to the curve and all of that, it pretty much stayed the same. Um, and then for the top, the top is the um, Seamwork Eli top, this guy here. Um, a little bit more advanced because of the um, Henley, but you could easily just sew this closed and have one continuous neckband and forego like the snap situation. But I wanted it to be more like actual pajamas, actual long johns, so I have like a whole matching set. I will be wearing this a ton. It's really, really, really comfortable. So... Yeah, the fabric is a waffle knit that I got from Joanne and that, nope, that I got from fabric.com. And then I did my best to find a coordinating knit for the bands. Um, and this is a Hachi, Hachi knit. And I used it for the neckband, the little placket thing, the wristband, the waistband of the pants and the cuff of the pants. So it's kind of repeating. And they're not exact, but you can see they, I mean, it's pretty close for shopping online to completely different manufacturers and everything. I did a pretty good job. Um, some of you expressed interest after last month's plan video on learning how I, how I do this, like how I'm able to color match, um, at least the best I can. Um, and so I'll be getting a video up on that shortly, but here's how my little long johns turned out. So uh, other than these two things, I, or these one, two, three, four, five things, <laughs> I did also sew um, some cushion covers for outside in a black and white gingham 
and a little orange pillow to kind of complete my fall redesign out on the patio. You guys will see that here shortly. I'm gonna do a fall patio reveal so you guys can see how that came together. Um, but other than that, that's that was my October. Um, like I said, I have a lot of really cute stuff. Again, like with 2020 and everything that's been going on, I've been incorporating a lot more separates, a lot more casual wear. So I'm excited to have all of these in my wardrobe, but I'm eager to hear when you guys um, sewed up in October, who made costumes, who made like actual costumes. And that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.